Tennis balls are overly complicated and poorly labeled, so you're probably using the wrong ones. Just take a look at all these different cans that are being sold at my local Walmart. How in the world are you supposed to tell which tennis balls are best for you? I wanted to find out, so I interviewed a manufacturer of tennis balls to get the inside scoop and then did a blind test with two high-level players to see if they could tell the difference between a high-quality ball and the bad ones that most tennis players buy. Stay tuned for the results so you don't waste your time and your money with the wrong tennis balls. First, let's hear from an industry insider what the biggest mistakes are that tennis players make when deciding which balls to buy. Uh, tennis balls are an area of the sport where there's a lack of education, really a lack of clarity, and I think that the brands can take uh, some responsibility for that. Um, the biggest issue that we see in the purchasing process of tennis balls is people don't know what balls they're buying and why. I mean, the main reason for buying a ball is based on the court surface that you're playing on. Are you playing on hard court? Are you playing on clay court? Are you playing in high altitude? Uh, those are the types of things that you need to consider. The other thing that we see a lot is, is people put quite a bit of weight in brand names, not to take any shots or, or call anybody out, but there's different qualities of balls, you know, and, and all the brands uh, have wide range of quality that they put out. So I guess the next obvious question is how do we tell the, how do we know where in the product to line up? Let's say Wilson, like, is this a premium ball or is this an entry level, you know, bargain basement uh, ball, even among the top, you know, name brands, how do we know the difference between a premium ball from a lower name versus a lower level ball from a, like a premium name? Yeah, I mean, the, the first place you can start is price, of course, and uh, the premium balls cost more to make, cost more to market, cost more to sell. And so the consumer uh, is going to be able to start to get an understanding of what quality is what based on the price. You can also look for things like, you know, if it's a approved ball, if it's uh, ITF approved, USTA approved, if it has those certain stamps of approval that say this ball falls within our required qualifications of a tennis ball and, and it meets our standards. If it's the official ball of the US Open, you can probably uh, bet with reasonable confidence that it's going to be a decent quality ball. If it's a ball that's labeled with words like uh, practice or even championship, that's going to be d generally more of like a mid-range or even an entry-level ball. How is my experience as a tennis player going to suffer if I'm just an everyday tennis player, which which I am, and I get like the the super basic cheap ball versus like the the high end ball. How is my game going to be worse? Like, am I going to have less fun? Like, practically speaking, what's the difference going to be? What you're going to see if you buy the wrong ball, and for example, if you bought a regular duty ball to play on a hard court, you're going to see that ball start to fluff up and really get pretty beat up much faster than you would if you were using an extra duty ball on a hard court. Uh, the opposite would be if you used an extra duty ball on a clay court, that extra duty ball is going to pick up a lot of moisture and clay, and it's going to start to get very heavy. It's going to translate to more wear and tear on the arm. It's going to be a heavier hit, and you are going to notice a big difference in the playability. In general, is the regular duty ball more for soft court and, and extra duty or heavy duty more for hard court? Is that pretty consistent? Yep, your general rule of thumb is going to be regular duty you're going to want to use on clay court, extra duty you're going to want to use on hard court. What specifically is different between an extra duty and a regular duty ball? Is it the felt? Is it the rubber? Is, like what, what specifically is actually different? Yeah, the biggest difference is going to be with the felt. So with a extra duty ball, you're going to have more tightly woven felt and you're going to have more felt than you would on a regular duty ball. And the reason for that is because the ball is, is manufactured for a hard court where it's going to be, uh, you know, getting more friction from the surface to the ball. Um, and that's why you're going to want more felt as well as uh, that more tightly woven felt. When you start looking at like the quality levels of the ball, so you're looking at a high end ball, like our premier ball to maybe more of a mid range or even a lower end practice ball you're gonna start looking at different levels of quality in all of the materials. So the felt, the rubber, as well as the construction process. So let's say I live in an area where it's not super tennis dense, like hardly anybody plays, there's no pro shops, there's no like specialty stores, and maybe Walmart or Target is kind of my best option. And all they have is cheap, 
you know, regular duty. It's not really designed for the type of court I'm playing on. What do I, what do I do as a tennis enthusiast? As a tennis enthusiast, the smartest thing you could do is go to diademsports.com and click on the balls section of our website and uh, take a look at what we have. Uh, and that would be where you're going to find your best quality balls and your absolute best customer service. Um, all that being said, there are uh, several other reputable online retailers in the tennis space, um, and, and most of them carry a, a pretty wide range of tennis balls. So um, I wouldn't settle for a lesser ball or an improper ball uh, based on where you're at geographically. I would put in a, a couple of extra minutes to go online and make sure you're finding uh, a ball that works for you and your playing surface uh, and is going to get you the tennis experience that you want. Do, do your best to just kind of avert your eyes and just hit. Are you right, going to feed him in? Okay. All right, here it's we go. Okay, I don't yep. look at the ball when I hit anyway, Ian. Oh, my gosh. What is this? What? Is this, this isn't extra duty felt. <laughs> oh, is this God. a like, regular pen? It's a golf ball, I think. <laughs> How can you tell it's not extra duty, Scott? Huh? How can you tell it's not I extra mean, duty? I mean, it's brand new. I can't really, but it, just the way it moves. I can't. The, the way it bounces. It flies off the string. Yeah. It's like it... Wow, I don't like where that stuff is. This is what high school or JV uses, I think. Yeah. They're on a budget. <laughs> Times are rough. Not for field You can get so these far. balls at uh, PetSmart. These balls are going to be hard to control. Yeah, good. These pop. It, really, it does sound different. Yeah. It's a different sound. Like, I haven't hit it, but it, it sounds like a different ball. <sighs> the very first hit, I'm like, yeah, this is not heavy duty at all, or extra duty. Uh, Whoa! Whoa! I like these balls. That was a good shot. <laughs> ah, they're, they're, Thank you, Walmart. They're too hard. All right, guys. So final final thoughts on these balls? Um, are they are they play, like are they playable or you feel like I, you know, thumbs down? Fresh out of the can, they're super hard. Yeah. They're almost like pressureless balls. Um, you know, I, I don't feel like there's a real high level of feel or control with them, honestly. Okay. Uh, I can definitely tell, really, seriously, off the first hit, yeah. no felt. No, it's very thin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're very like, thin. they're crew cut. There you go. Wilson Titanium. Doesn't titanium. I don't even know what that means, or like, what, like. I'm <laughs> hoping that's the cheapest balls you have for play testing. <laughs> oh, I doubt All right, it. all right, yeah. I'm gonna grab uh, some other ones. Here we go. First thoughts. Very, very yellow. At least feel better. Oh yeah, these are extra duty. <laughs> Yeah, they move better. What do you mean they move better, Scott? I'm saying that they're more. I've got sorry, I got feel on my on my strings. Sorry, Mark. Yeah, they're they're, they're definitely pocketing. Much higher quality. I can actually see it. Like you guys are shaping the ball much better yeah, with, yeah. with this no, ball. That, I mean, that they feel a lot more controllable for one. Yeah. Sorry. I like these a lot better. Sorry. It's good. Oh no. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the ball. Did you look at it or no? I did. You saw it? Yeah. Did you see it, Scott? Yeah. Oh, these are what we use at uh, Western. Yeah? yeah? Like in the so, teaching carts? Yeah. Wow, that's a good ball for that's teaching That's good cards. for a teaching cart ball. Yeah. yeah. No, that's really good. So I, final uh, thoughts or like judgments? It felt a lot, a lot heavier yeah. and a lot more predictable. Like physically? Yep. Uh, heavier yeah. ball? Okay. Yeah. It's interesting to look at the, look at how much more like texture the extra duty has compared to, like you guys were saying this like, felt like a, a dog toy or like yeah, a, yeah. a rock. Oh, just the, uh, you can kind of see it like yeah. in the ball. There's more like there, depth of, uh, of felt here. Honestly, like, solar flares and you got a moon right there. I take that back. I would never give this to my dog. <laughs> Is this a Wilson? Ready? Yeah. I think it's a Wilson. So it didn't bounce that high. Huh. I think it's Wilson regular duty. Try not to see it, Scott. Yeah, I'm, I'm not looking. I've, Sorry, sorry. Here you go. I think this is somewhere between the first and the second one. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, oh, God. Ready? Sorry. It's all me. Uh, nice. Uh, yep. Where's the ball? Nice shot, Scott. It has to be a Wilson. It has to be a Wilson. It's not attacking the ball. Oh, I saw the logo. Damn it. That's okay. You still don't know which one it is. I have, th I have three different diadem balls here. I think it's a regular duty. Think so? Yeah. All right, we'll find out. That's why I said Wilson, like Wilson regular duty, not yeah. the extra duty. Yeah, sure. there's no way that's extra duty. 
Oh. Sir. <laughs> good ball. Trend, trend. Let's go. So thoughts on the ball? Uh, good balls. These are good balls. Regular duty, definitely. I thought it was a regular Wilson. No, I didn't yes, that was right. <laughs> I'm the ball master. <laughs> so what made you say regular, Mark? Just they didn't fluff up. Yeah. yeah. They didn't feel heavy. Yeah. They felt a lot better than the first one. Yeah. It just didn't feel heavy. Oh. It didn't have that extra felt. Yeah, that's what's interesting to me is the uh, the first one is like the super cheap. Yeah, you can tell they are fluffing. The titanium. Yeah, let me get this one too. It's fluffing a little bit, but a little yeah. bit, but not, not like the compared you know, to the titanium. Yeah, these, these, oh, much more it, it almost looks like a extra duty yeah. compared to the titanium, but then when you look at the it's actual macro lens, <laughs> yeah, extra yeah, duty, yeah. Yeah. you can see there's much more like uh, depth or like uh, texture, I guess, to mm -hmm. the the felt on the extra duty, the Dunlop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. yep. And then this one has a little bit of that like texture, and then this one is just like smooth, like a rock. New ball, <laughs> new ball, please. New ball, please. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh, Ooh okay. love them already. Uh. Oh, definitely extra duty. This is the best one yet. Yeah. In terms yeah. of what? In terms of what? <laughs> Everything. Yeah, like yeah. what? The feel, how it flies through the air, how it feels off the string. Uh, I like go. the way the balls feel. Yeah, they, they're they're pretty. I already know what this one strings. is. Sorry. I'd be shocked if this wasn't Wilson Extra Duty. Have to be Wilson Extra Duty. What's your, what's your call? Wilson you, Extra Duty. Extra Duty? Yeah, Scott, Scott yeah. what do you think? I'd agree with Mark. I mean, just just the feel of the ball feels like there's like extra fuzz on it. Yeah. And I mean, I, I it's definitely not a pen, you know, having looked at it, you know. Pen ATPs aren't bad, though. Yeah, yeah. But this feels these, a lot better. I mean, these, these felt good. No! <laughs> really, really? No! Well, I mean, let's, I want to compare. That, that's yeah. interesting. It is. That, that it feels is. good for, yeah, yeah. Regular duty. for regular duty. I thought it was extra duty. So, like, comparing it. That's... Co compared to the, the Dunlop, for oh, sure. This is better. The extra duty? You, you like the feel? I better? like this better, yeah. yeah. You got the Dunlop? Yeah, let me look. Look, yeah, look, yeah, look, look, look how much is going on. Look how much up. dense yeah, that yeah. is. But look, look, look how it's actually fluffing up, though. Yeah. Right? yeah. Size wise, they're pretty similar. So, it's just preference, really. I mean, feel. But you can tell this has more felt on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I. I would have guessed just by the way it felt. The way the way, the way, extra, the way I, thought, I thought it was extra too. Yeah. 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 So, Interesting. Yeah. First thoughts. Oh, these are hard. They're good. Yeah, these things are flying. Jeez. I'm not looking. They sound really different. Yeah. Uh, yeah I don't like that. Uh. Regular duty. Ah. Ready? Pressureless. Ah. These feel kind of, I don't know, second tier. Yeah. I mean, uh, based on what? Like specific? well, I mean, just well, just the, the the hardness of them. Yeah. They 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 feel too too hard. Yeah. Just right off the bat. I mean, they 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 I can they feel like like rocks coming off my strings. Too light, you said. They feel light. Yeah. Like, like those last two shots felt like they moved way too much with the breeze. Like I totally misjudged them. All right, what do you guys think? Second worst one. Yeah. 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 I would agree with that. They. So just above the titanium? Yeah. Not they, just I, above, I, but well below. Yeah. There, there's a gap between those two and then um, the, the regular, next one. the extra duty pen, I yeah. believe. And so based on how light it felt, uh, feel off the, the strings. Yeah, I mean, these, these are these are regular felt. Yeah. yeah. These are these are definitely regular the felt. The ball flew, and I yeah, had no yeah. feel. Yeah. It didn't oh. have enough uh, dwell time. Well, and you're, 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 those two serves you hit right there, I felt like they just moved with the wind so much. It's like they're lighter, you know? They just, they, they, I didn't really care yeah. for these. Regular duty. Yeah, these are regular. Yep. Championship regular duty. Yeah. There you go. Interesting. You guys had that one nailed. Yeah. All right, here we go. New ball. New balls, please. Uh, okay, that felt good right off the bat. Oh, this is, I think it's extra. Yeah, it's extra. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's, it's heavy. Uh, yeah. It's very thick. I can see the fuzz just like in oh, the, the air Oh, the sound, already. you feel it? You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so, <laughs> I'd agree. Automatic winners, what do you use yeah. this ball? I mean, All right, here you go. Clearly Mark is better with extra duty felt. <sighs> what can I say? I like some fuzz on my balls. Uh, uh, 
Try to hit it harder. Ah. Ah, one-hander. This is by far the best one. Yeah, I, wait, I'm, wait, wait, better I'm, than the Wilson? Yeah. I like don't these. Look at it, I don't like look these. at it. These feel really solid. Okay, pretty. Just, I, I'm kind of basing it off of my observations across the net. But is this is this your favorite one yet? Yeah, I like yeah. these. Uh, why why did you like it the best, Mark? Extra duty. Had the most fluff, I think. Yeah, out of, out of, e of even the Dunlop. Yeah, and it was the softest as well. No, it was, it was uh, that was the best ball. That best was ball? the best ball. Why did you like it? I, I, because it, it was the most playable. It had the best kind of like confluence of of like uh, felt and tension uh, pressure, and just felt really good coming off the strings. It felt like the ball did what you told it to. Even the slight miss hits. Were yeah, like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. This felt is okay. like that, that It'll one, be okay. one at three two. Yeah. Wait, would you? <laughs> <laughs> that, that shot you had at three two. Yeah. It it was very <laughs> very uh, good. There you go. Yeah. The diadem extra duty. So you liked it. You liked it better than the yeah. That, that's even the, the U.S. Open. Yeah. Because you guys really love the U.S. Yeah. Open. That was, you, I'll put them a little closer together. Yeah. It's super interesting to me that you guys both like the regular duty U.S. Open so much. Oh, it's high quality. Super interesting. Yeah, those really felt good. Yeah. And again, you know, ask me in 30 minutes. Sure. Okay. Yeah. After a set and a half. Yeah, this is this is my. Is that Scott's lineup? Yeah, that's my lineup. Mark, how, how would you reorder this? Uh, What's your order? Slightly. Wow, you put the Wilson extra duty that low, huh? <laughs> okay, uh, final kind of question for you guys. Yeah. Oh my God. Anything jump out at either of you in terms of um, surprise? Like when you like, what's the biggest standout surprise for you out of any of these balls? You're like, wow, I'm surprised it was way better than I thought, or way worse than I thought. Well, diadem is, I mean, I could be, bi I'm not technically biased, but I am because I'm a human. The diadems were surprisingly good, and mm -hmm. I believe from their price point, it's actually a really good deal, not only in terms of value, mm -hmm. but just overall performance. I was also really surprised at how good the regular Wilson US Opens felt. Yeah. yeah. But the standouts were the diadems by far. Um, the Wilsons were the big surprise for me. I did not think I would enjoy the uh, ex or regular felt US Open balls. I know the US Open balls are are decent, but I, I, I tend to be biased against regular felt. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. All right, last question. Put your coaching hats on, because you both do coaching. Mm -hmm. what was, what's your biggest recommendation? Like, think about all like your, your lessons that you have on a day-to-day -day basis. For the people at home, what's your biggest recommendation when they're choosing a ball to buy for training, uh, for their practice? What should, what should they be looking for? I would say as you know, somebody who uses the same balls day in, day out, get extra duty felt, you know, just, you know, without question, that they'll last significantly longer, um, you know, that you want to try something that, that, can, that can withstand, you know, two weeks of, of hitting every day. Um, for just practicing and drilling and stroke mechanic work, Wilson Trinity, which is the pressureless balls. Oh. I like that ball. I would, it's good for drills yeah. and good for practice, yeah. but it's not like a true bounce. So sure. Wilson, it's the Wilson Trinity, the pressureless ones, they last literally eight to, eight to 10 times longer than regular extra duty, so, than extra duty. They'd be good for ball machines. For it sure. is. Yeah. And I would even argue stroke mechanics. Yeah, Diadem yeah, has yeah. a pressureless ball they too. Do? Okay, yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, um, we didn't hit with it today, sure. but yeah. But if you want um, like a regular, like a true bounce from either a regular or extra duty, I would highly, highly suggest the Diadem Extra Duty. Mm -hmm. I bought three cases from a local tennis shop, yeah. and they did just as well as the Wilson Extra Duty, which we didn't have, and I believe they are 10%, if not 20% cheaper by the box. You mean the US Open Extra Duty? Yes. The, not, not the Championship Extra Duty? The sure, yeah, the, sorry. I meant the Wilson US Open Extra Duty, yeah. which is, I believe, the same price point as the Wilson Regular Duty. So I would highly, highly suggest the Diadem Extra Duty, if you guys are serious about a true bounce tennis ball that's gonna last long and it's gonna have you have um, good practice in terms of like what a match situation would be like to the best of your ability. Awesome.